But this one. I hear sirens. That scared me a little bit. Hey, what is up everybody? This is Shane, the Rise and Grind Picker, and today we are gonna go garage sailing, and I don't know how much we are gonna find because in Illinois, the garage sales, we don't have very long to do it, and to be honest with you, a lot of the garage sales, I've already been to one, and it was a complete strikeout, so let's see what we can find. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notifications when I put in my videos. And if you haven't been on this channel before, here on this channel we talk about e-commerce, selling online, um, selling on online platforms, and also how to flip the treasures we find at garage sales, estate sales, auctions, flea markets, and <laughs> when I run Craigslist ads, uh, what people bring me, as well as online buying platforms. And thank you, and uh, let's see what we can freaking come up with today all right so I found a vintage sale it was labeled as a vintage sale online and I'm heading there now to check it out um, probably gonna hit a couple more garage sales and then I probably have to go get my car fixed uh, I have rotors that are bad on my car you can probably hear it and it sounds like a piece of crap but um, I gotta go get the rotors fixed today I just call the place and they can get me in so I'm probably gonna hit like two more garage sales and then I'm gonna jet over there and get my rotors fixed so hopefully I find some good stuff if not I'm gonna be stuck in thrift stores today trying to find some stuff to make my money um, instead of garage sales so we'll see what happens but uh, the lot I went to like maybe two to three garage sales and it's been a strikeout on on all of them so we'll see if uh, this vintage sale has what it takes well and and i don't know if it will or not but we'll see all right let's go see what they got it doesn't look too promising but kind of desperate right now i've struck out on every garage so i want to so far so we'll see Thank you. 
Hey, good. How are you? Fine. No, not necessarily. Just, just looking. So. Nice day. Have a good one. Complete strikeout. Um, they just didn't have good stuff, so we're gonna, we're gonna move on to the next one. Well, that was definitely a waste of a day. I started out, I went to like two or three yard sales. I filmed at one and then my rotors on my car started really grinding bad. So I had to go to the, the mechanics shop. $600 later and 2.30 in the afternoon, I am out of there and I spend the whole day entire, and the entire day in the lobby. So, which means I did not go to any more garage sales. So now How's it going everybody? So what I'm doing right now is uh, shipping some items out. It's a little dark in here, but shipping some items out and I'm gonna go over kind of about yesterday. Um, did a video and man, the yard sales were really, really horrible yesterday. Um, they were really bad actually. I went to four yard sales and then I had to go fix my car and uh, dropped some money on that because I had bad rotors and the funny thing was is I went to like four yard sales and then after I got my rotors and stuff done I went to like three or four thrift stores and I didn't buy anything so I don't know if maybe that's I don't know the thrift god telling me that I need a list but definitely something so I didn't buy anything and I went to that many places so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the clips into some of my fails yesterday and then I'll just uh, show you guys what happened uh, I have some some actual footage of some yard sales too that were actually really really bad and you can kind of tell they were really bad because the, the stuff was was not very quality it's kind of getting towards the end of the year in Illinois where yard sales are are very I don't know how you would say it they're just getting to be very, very tough. At the first of the year, they're really, really good usually. And then they become just very tough to actually find anything at. Because it's towards the end of the year and people just, in Illinois, a lot of places just are not, you know, don't have a lot of money and, you know, some other stuff. But with that being said, I had some, some yard sale fails and some thrift store fails yesterday and uh, hope you all enjoy. Um, I'm just kind of vlogging for the rest of the video. So, 
All right, so now for the fun part. Um, we are listing and taking pictures of all this Toys R Us stuff. Uh, these three bags are full. We got some Toys R Us stuff there. Some stage up over here. Another big bag. Three more big bags of Toys R Us stuff. All right here, more Toys R Us stuff. And then we have a big, huge area full of Toys R Us stuff once again. Um, all this stuff, I do have already some listed. Um, the stuff I have listed is actually i have like three totes of toys r us stuff and then i have this stuff all this stuff toys r us on my shelf but i also have like two or three more to totes full of toys r us stuff so yeah that's about what i'm doing today um <laughs> if you like this video please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification to get alerts when i place out a video i appreciate everyone's everyone's support and I do hope to give you a lot better of a video next time. I know we didn't find anything at garage sales. We struck out of all the thrift stores we went to. So we will see what we can get next time. Um, you know, this shows that every time you go sourcing, you don't always find everything or anything. Sometimes you might go a bunch of places and not find anything. And I am being a little bit more picky now because I've changed my business model a little bit. But I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you. And I will see you next time.